Um, and uh, we're going to start with this um, new concept that I, I didn't know existed called the non-man. And I have to say, I, I encountered this for the first time on Twitter a couple of days ago. Maybe it was yesterday. Maybe it was a couple of days ago. Uh, June 12th. So two days ago. Um, uh, saw some tweets about this. And I dismissed it because I figured this can't be this can't be right. So uh, this is too crazy. This is I, I don't know. And I I, I noticed that Jackie Rawlins had tweeted this, and it, it tweeted about this. And I was like, No, no, she must be caught up in in something that's just crazy and and untrue. And there was no link. There was just a, a, a screenshot of something. So I just dismissed it and moved on. But then today. I, I, you know, I found I found the actual story on on the website of John Hopkins University, uh, where this is supposed to be taken from. Uh, it has now been taken down, and a disclaimer is being put instead. But this is what appeared two days ago. All right, this is the LGBTQ glossary, LGBTQ glossary, and the first item that appears is lesbian, in parentheses, social orientation. <laughs> I can't even do it. Right. And this is this is this is the explanation for lesbian. A non-man attracted to non-men. And it says, well, past definitions refer to lesbian as a woman who is emotionally, romantically, and or sexually attracted to other women. This updated definition includes non-binary people who may also identify with the label. So you're a non-man lesbian. Okay. But then, okay, so I see it, non-binary, you want to be inclusive, you want to make sure you cover everybody, it's not, you know, so I, I guess you want to include the lesbian, trans, but okay, I get that. But then why is it that the next item is gay man? And gay man is not defined as a non-woman, it's defined as a man who is emotionally, romantically, sexually, affectionately, or relationally attracted to other men or who identifies as a member of a gay community. That's a little weird. At times, gay is used to refer to all people, regardless of gender, who have their primary sexual or romantic attraction to people of the same gender. Gay is an adjective, not a noun. It is He is a gay man. Why is man treated differently than woman, who you can't even say the word, I guess? Can't even utter it. This, you know, <laughs> this is insane. Um... A non-man attracted to non-men. <laughs> I mean, this is why at, at the very end of the day, uh, you know, I, I talked about this on the show yesterday, I can't take woke seriously. Because, I mean, 99% of Americans look at this and say, huh, this is stupid. Right? So a couple of tweets, one by Riel Scaracella, she says, why is a lesbian a non-man, but a gay person isn't a non-woman? Progressive misogyny, she says. <laughs> and then J.K. Rollins, um, J.K. Rollins tweets, uh, she says, man, no definition needed. It's obvious what a man is. Non-man, formerly known as woman, a being definable only by reference to the male, an absence, a vacuum, where there's no maleness. <laughs> you gotta admire J.K. Rollins. I mean, not only does she have the courage, but she's she's a good writer. <laughs> and, and and that's exactly right. I mean, what? The, the, women are gone. Men, none men. That's how it's that's how it's that, that's how it's uh, divided. I mean, talk about I, and I like this, uh, non man a being definable only by reference to the male, an absence, a vacuum where there's no manness. And it, you know, and of course, it, what it's referring to is what was formerly known as women. So anyway, that was uh, on Twitter yesterday. John Hopkins um, has pulled that definition uh, from its uh, website. Uh, you, if you go to the glossary, um, the LGBT glossary now is empty with a statement from John Hopkins where it says it, it strives to create a campus culture that is inclusive and welcoming for all gender identities, sexual orientations, experiences, and viewpoints. And, we and we're committed to ensuring da-da-da-da-da. Um, 
the glossary serves the introduction to a range of identities and terms that are used in the LGBT community, not intended to serve as the definitive answer of how all people understand and use the terms. Um, but, you know, uh, and then they said the definitions were not reviewed or approved by ODI. I'm not sure what ODI stands for. ODI, some, some entity within, the, within uh, John Hopkins. The definitions were not reviewed or approved by ODI leadership, and the language in question has been removed pending review. I wonder if after they do a review, we will get the word woman back in the LGBTQ glossary, or if it's now established fact that under LGBTQ ideology, there is no such thing as a woman. All there is is non-men. Men and the absence of men. <laughs> I mean, what do, you, what, do you, what do you even do? I mean, the alternative is this or Christianity. Is, you get the sense that that's it? Oh, um, I, I got to give kudos to the writer, uh, the writer of the essay that I critiqued yesterday um, uh, over, the, uh, over the, the woke or Christianity. And I encourage those of you who haven't watched that episode to watch it. I think I make some good points there, and I think it's interesting. Um, anyway, um, uh, the author, uh, the author whose name is uh, Evan Riggs, actually uh, tweeted, to his credit, tweeted my discussion of his, um, um, you know, uh, uh, of my discussion of his essay, he, he, he tweets, we definitely disagree on a lot, but I'm honored to have my argument taken seriously by the head of the Ayn Rand Institute. And he, and he links to my thing. So kudos to, uh, uh, to Riggs. I've actually suggested that uh, maybe next time I'm in London, we could do a debate on it. Um, and uh, then he, he also tweeted, thank you for taking my argument seriously, unlike many people who have disagreed so far. Um, so yeah, it would, be, it would be actually pretty cool if we could... Um, if we could actually have a debate over this. Um, all right, let's see. So yeah, that, that was yesterday's show. Encourage you all, those of you who haven't listened to it yet, to go listen to it. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening, you get value from watching, Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.